the little engines were busy clearing their railroad of leaves and broken branches. Peter Sam and Rusty often worked together. Rusty helped Peter Sam to a water tower. Peter Sam felt much better after his long drink, but the freight cars were bored. Let's break away. Their loads were heavy and the couplings old. One snapped. Oh no, cried Peter Sam. The chase was on. Catch us if you can, shouted the freight cars. A sign read slow, steep bends and ravine ahead, but the silly cars never saw it. But then, it was too late. Peter Sam arrived at the scene of the disaster. His driver sighed. This was our fault. We didn't secure them properly. We'll have to get help to pull them out. Sir Topham Hatt will be very annoyed. And he was. You will work in the yards until I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter Sam's dilemma. Fancy not securing your freight cars on a hill. They'll come back to spook you and your special funnel. And who's to say you're not afraid of ghosts, snapped Rusty. Ghosts? Things that go bump in the night? Rubbish! Well, I'll tell you a story that will make your funnel quiver, Rusty said. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty, moonlit night. Suddenly, the engine lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. He was never found again. But many a workman will tell you that when the moon is full, they have seen the little engine trying to get home. But he never reaches the other side. So what do you think of that, Duncan? Rubbish, replied Duncan. Never mind him, Peter Sam. He'd be frightened if he really saw a ghost. This gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play a trick on Duncan. The next day, he spoke to Duncan's driver and fireman, who agreed. We'll do it tonight. Duncan had to take coal cars to the slate mines and then bring cars back. Duncan's driver decided as part of the plan to cross the old iron bridge. Halted bridge. Rubbish, snorted Duncan. It's as tame as a pet rabbit. But all the same, he kept thinking about Rusty's story. When dusk fell, he was keen to leave. If we don't go now, Scar Lowy will take my favorite place in the sheds. We have to collect our cars first, his driver replied. He could see their plan was working because Duncan was nervous. When night fell, they set off. Mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Duncan whistled, and the sound echoed everywhere. Then, ahead, he saw flickering lights. His driver knew they were only insects that shine brightly at night, but to Duncan, they looked like an engine. Next, his driver secretly threw a rock from the cab into the ravine below. It's the ghost! Take me back! Take me back, please!
When Duncan reached the safety of his shed, he closed his eyes tightly. Spooked, are you, Duncan? laughed his driver. No, I'm asleep, and Duncan refused to open his eyes. He did, though, when he thought his driver wasn't looking, just to make sure that he was still there. <laughs>